healing and restoration. Roho wa Mungu aliniongoza kuja kwetu na kuvunza njuu ya uponyaji na urejesho wa kiungu. Everybody on this earth. Kila mtu hapa duniani longs for these two. Utamani vitu hivi viwili. Desires to enjoy a good health. Utamani kufurahia afya njema. Desires to enjoy restoration. Utamani kufurahia urejesho. Ni ebi economically spiritually financial all round all this stuff iwe ni kiuchumi kiroho ama kipesa pande zote but it's good to understand this my dear brothers and sisters lakini vyema kuelewa hivi wapendwa that one of the ministry of the holy spirit upon the church ya kwamba moja wapo ya huduma za roho mtakatifu juu ya kanisa is to empower a believer ni kuwezesha mkristo to enjoy divine healing kuweza kufurahia uponyaji wa kiungu it is to empower a believer ni kuwezesha mkristo to enjoy normalcy as per the expectation and the standards of god kufurahia ukawaida kulingana na matarajio na viwango vya mungu why do we have the audacity of saying this kwa nini tuna ushuja tukisema hivi it is because when the holy spirit came upon jesus ni kwa sababu wakati ye roho mtakatifu alikuja juu ya yesu Somebody will say he was he came that he may empower him to preach. Kuna mtu alisema ya kwamba Roho Mtakatifu alikuja ili kumwezesha kuhubiri. But that's not the only reason. Lakini hiyo sio sababu tu. Actually two major reasons stands out when the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus. We see two major assignments are standing out in the ministry of Jesus. Tunaona kazi mbili kuu na muhimu sana zinaonekana katika huduma ya Yesu. Number one ya kwanza is the preaching of the ghost of the gospel of the kingdom gospel ni kuhubiri kwa injili ya ufalme wa Mungu we see that in the book of Luke chapter 4 and the verses 18 tunaona hiyo katika Luka ile mstari wa 18 and number 2 na ya pili it is the healing of all manner of diseases ni uponyaji wa magonjwa aina zote he said the holy spirit has anointed me alisema yesu roho mtakatifu amenitilia mafuta number 1 to preach the gospel jambo la kwanza kuhubiri injili number 2 to heal ya pili kuponya in chapter 4 of the book of Matthew where we have read katika madhara suri ya ile mahali tumesoma first when to three the bible begins by saying mstari wa 23 biblia inaanza kwa kusema jesus went about all galilee yesu alizunguka galilaya yote teaching in their synagogue akivunza katika masinagogi yao teaching the gospel of the kingdom akihubiri injili ya ufalme number 2 healing all kinds of of the sickness. Jambo la pili akiponya magonjwa aina zote. All kinds of disease. Aina za maradhi zote. It means one of the ministry of the Holy Spirit upon us. Kumaanisha moja wapo ya ndume ya Zaroma takatifu juu yetu. Just to enable you and me. Ni kukuwezesha wewe na mimi. After you have heard the gospel. Baada ya kusikia injili. Also to enjoy divine healing. Pia kufurahia uponyaji wa kiungu. Chapter 10 verse 38 Katika matendo ya mitume 10:38 The Bible says clearly Biblia inasema vizuri How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth Jesus Mungu alimpaka Yesu wa Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with the power Na Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu Who went about doing good Ambaye alienda kote akitenda mema That is preaching the good news Yeye ni kuhubiri habari njema And number 2 healing all na jambo la pili akiponya wote that were oppressed by the devil waliofinyiliwa na shetani i pray as you hear this word today naomba unapolisikia neno hili leo in form of sickness kila aina ya ugonjwa in form of body torture kila ugonjwa ugo aina ya mateso ya mwili in form of oppression kila aina ya kufinyiliwa this devouring your body ambaye inaribu mwili wako i assure you in the name of the risen christ na kuhakikishia kwa jina yesu aliyetufu Ayo mateso ya tatizo in the mighty name of Jesus Katika jina kuu la Yesu I didn't come in my name Sio kusikuja kwa jina langu I stand here in the name of Christ Lakini nasimama hapa kwa jina la Kristo bothering your life Chochote kinasumbua maisha yako Anything bothering your family Chochote kinasumbua familia yako It will be subdued today Sitatishwa leo Somebody say hallelujah Sema hallelujah 
somebody say hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. Now there are dimensions of healing. Kuna viwango tofauti vya uponyaji. The Holy Spirit brings or establishes in our lives. Ambavyo Roho Mtakatifu huleta ama udhibitisha katika maisha yetu. I want us to mention around the four of them and then we are going to pray. Nataka tutaja kama ine hivi kisha tutaomba. Everyone wherever you are, those them that are joining us online, may God bless you. If you can share this message and reach somebody Kil- for God's glory. Kila mmoja popote ulipo hata wale wako kwa mitandao unaweza shiriki ujumbe huu na uguze maisha ya mtu kwa utukufu. Wait your hand and say hallelujah. Kunga mkono sema so hallelujah. There are dimensions of healing. Kuna viwango vya uponyaji. Number one, ya kwanza, which is the most common. Ambaye ni kawaida sana. And this what we calling body healing or physical healing. Ni ile tunaita uponyaji wa kimwili. Yeah, physical healing. Uponyaji unaonekana. There are so many people in church. Kuna watu wengi sana kanisani. Full of the Holy Ghost. Wamejawa na Roho Mtakatifu. Going to heaven. Wanaenda mbinguni. But they are not enjoying or they are, they are not impressed by their health. Lakini hawafurahishwi na afya yao. They are not impressed by how their bodies are taking them. Hawafurahishwi na jinsi miili yao inawapeleka. Am I human being as a foreign sick often mimi ni mwanadamu nimekuwa mgonjwa mara nyingi so i know what it feels kwa hivyo najua inahisi namna gani when you are going through a body torture wakati unapitia mateso ya kimwili but it's good to know this lakini vema kujua hivi that god the father the son and the holy ghost ya kwamba mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu want you to enjoy divine healing wanataka ufurahie uponyaji wa kiu from a body torture kila aina ya mateso ya kimwili by your body in the word i'm speaking kwa mamlaka hiyo katika neno ninazozungumza. Mateso yanaisha sasa hivi. I wish why men can be louder. Na nyuseme amina kwa sauti. I wish why men can be louder. Sema amina kwa sauti. I remember on Wednesday here. Na nakumbuka Jumatano hapa. We called for people to come forward. Tuliita watu kutokea mbele. That and diverse sicknesses. Ambao walikuwa na magonjwa tofauti tofauti. To God be the glory. Na kwa utukufu wa Mungu. After the prayer. Baada ya maombi. We asked if there are people that came under oppression and they have been healed tukauliza kama kuna watu walikuja wakuwa wagonjwa na wamepona wengi wakatokea so excited and happy wamefurahia sana because the sickness that was on them maana ugonjwa ulioko juu uliokuwa juu yao remember madam ilda was there nakumbuka madam ilda alikuwa pale brother kitonga was there kuki kitonga alikuwa hapa brother tendi was there brother tendi alikuwa pale they stood forward wakasimama mbele testify of the miracle healing ushundia muujiza wa uponyaji you can have your seat i pray naomba anybody in this church kila mmoja kanisani this and oppression ambaye yuko chini ya mateso this oppression ayo mateso pause right now wanatii sasa please believe what i'm saying amen nachokisema because even money can fail maana hata pesa inaweza kosa kufanya kazi if money is everything kenyata the founder of this nation angekuwa alive kama pesa ilikuwa ni disease kenyata ambaye alikuwa mwanzilishi wa taifa hili letu angekuwa the other day they are buried brood president siku nyingine hapa wamezika rais wa burundi at the fifth something years old akuwa na miaka 50 na kiti why kwa nini my dear ones wapendwa there is a place kuna mahali our money gets limited pesa yetu inavikwaza that's why i am praying na ndio maana naomba for miracle healing here ni ujiza ya uponyaji i believe in miracle healing na yamini katika uponyaji wa i also believe in the supernatural katika power of god katika healing katika nguvu ya uponyaji ya mungu i command that thing hitting your body to go right now anything fighting your health I right now anything f- oh my you see there are people that will be healed as i'm talking kuna watu watapona ninapozungumza hivi please just listen well i'm not the old reverend fred you knew mimi sio yule kasisi fred wa kitabu i'm operating in another dimension nafanya kazi kwa kiwango kingine there are people here kuna watu hapa before the service is over kabla ndumo uwe baba will up chapter on you nitakuwa kimekuja juu ya kandala baya bakatopa 
I release your healing right now. And the body pain and now Zimbi Zimbi heal and the kind of pain healed receive your healing now. Everybody shout yeah. Ratu shaka bahandi la bahando ya, raso ke proti ya si kabaya, ragi da bahando se ke predi ya daba, ziko tabahando si ya, rapandi bahanzo kabaya, resi kato bahande re bahadia. There is somebody with a sharp back pain right now. Kunamtu na uchungu mkali na wamu melting right now. Kala baka da baraba, whatever it is that is devouring your pain. Whatever it is that is giving you sleepless nights, whatever it is that is giving you pressure, whatever it is that is oppressing you, I stand in the name of Jesus and I declare as you live here today, Christ Jesus heals you now. Christ Jesus heals you now. Now, Christ Jesus, He was in you now. You left somebody at home sick. You find them healed. Just go and see. It will be so. It is done for God's glory. Hallelujah. So Jesus. Yes. When the Holy Spirit came upon him, it went all over. And the Bible says, healing all manner of disease, all manner. Because sicknesses are not just, use that word, sickness is not just confined to physical torture only. He said, the Bible talks of he went healed all manner. Chapter 4 Matthew. All manner. All manner of sickness and diseases. That's why in this church even COVID-19 has been healed. Yes. I've prayed for women online. In Nairobi. In Nairobi. And they are rejoicing. Because kwa sababu, even COVID ata corona, is among all manner. Do you believe that? Why are you not clapping us? Because you think it is special. You see, you see, what they are not telling us, they are telling us they are for the something cases in Kenya. But what they are, te- they are not telling us, okay, uh, they are telling us, but it's not that noised, over that the 5,000 are healed. So among the 40 something that the 5,000 is already healed who is healing? Jesus I prophesy healing over your family Francis it's well but it's healed smoked out by the fire of the Holy Ghost I believe Come on. Say, everybody let's read he went healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people Amen. Hey, even that that is that, that they told you Killed your grandfather. It is among all. And I declare that this anointing, the power of the Holy Ghost, is over you right now. The power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon somebody. Receive your healing now. Are you not saying a better amen? Amen, amen. Are you not shouting amen? Amen. Spirit. Divided in church. 
when he is activated in church wakati amechochewa kanisani people enjoy divine healing watu wanaanza kufurahia maponyaji ya kiungu I'm saying for God's go in this church nasema hivi kwa utukufu wa Mungu church members hata ukisikia mbario sio ya mshirika mimi relative hapa katika ili kanisa huwa tu ziki wa shirika wa vyovyo ukisikia kuna mazishi ni ya mtu wa mbali give god the glory hallelujah do you know why unajua kwa nini divine healings uponyaji wa kiungu and pastoring of 700 people is not a joke na kwa mtungaji wa watu zaidi ya 700 prophesy na tabiri in your pressure in your body you are mwili wako is now ive sasa dies now ive sasa Are you not shouting alive amen? Hearing right now. Pastor Kim, you remember you kwambia mpaka you arrive imevimba? Yes sir. <laughs> This and is some powerful pastor. Huyu mchungaji mtanasha. Miaka kama 5 imepita. Ati imevura sana na sijui kama ataendelea. Usiku kiambiwa alivyo imevura sio 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 kama kuambiwa njicho imevura Mrs. Mama Josh. Kuambiwa alivyo imevura ambia mwanzako hiyo inafurisha kila kitu but i'm telling actually god miraculously killed it Mungu was a kimuchiza alimponya haleluya that was our five years ago hiyo ni kama miaka 5 imepita anything ambayo inavimba ndani yako i stop it amen <laughs> manda murudhi anything ambayo inavimba chochote kinavimba yes anything chochote mandeni kuvimba whatever chochote ki stop I minister healing over the child. Every Let the Holy Ghost flow all over. Amen. We have seen too much melt, growth, breast, to growth, melt. Tumeona maufimbe zikiyeyuka. The power of of our city. I declare Natangaza in the name of the Lord anything creeping over your body kila kitu kinajaribu kuingia kwa mwili wako something to bring destruction over your body kinajaribu kuleta uharibifu kwa mwili wako let the holy ghost power right Aja now i don't know the in the name of jesus kupate sasa please i want to lay your hand over your body nataka uweke mkono wako kwa mwili yes, wako yes yes maybe you are not feeling anything maybe there Peng- could be something that is coming pengine usikii chochote labda kuna kitu kinakuja that you lay your hand over your body unapoelekea mkono wako right now sasa hivi i minister healing now natangaza uponyaji i minister healing now in the name of jesus i minister healing now in the name of jesus i minister healing now in the name of jesus i stop premature death nakomesha vivo vya mapema i've seen mama madam masid Nona madam Mase pale. Just in a nutshell, give her the microphone. Kwa kifupi, pateki na sasa sauti. I don't know even her mother. Sijui mama yake hapa. She came here one of the services and we prayed. Alikunja siku moja kwa ibanda hapa tukaomba. You see, she witnessed what we call instant healing. Alishuhudia kile tunaita uponyaji wa moja kwa moja. All right. Okay, please go. Amen. Naitwa Mase nimeokoka wow. na mpenda Kristo. Glory to God. Niseme ya kwamba my mom was alikuwa mgonjwa for long long time alikuwa na lashes kwa mwili tunaenda hospitali ametumia oh, madawa mingi mm-hmm. na hakuwa anapona but ilikuwa imekaa for about 3 years mm-hmm. daktari anamwambia asifanye some stuff uh-huh. asilime asipike yani ilikuwa Now, like the like, healing the healing after the prayer Now, ilichukua after long the, after the prayer vile nilienda nikampaka anointing hiyo usiku the following day ikaanza ku clear the following day so i just send her with the oil mtuma tuna mafuta and within three, three days na kwa siku tatu actually the following day siku iliyofuata the three here oppression mateso ambayo ilikuwa imekaa kwa miaka tatu to disappear ikaanza kutoweka today mama amepona leo mama amepona any oppression here bila kufinyiliwa mama imekaa miaka imekaa miaka mingi oh months kama miezi kadhaa healed now imepona healed now imepona sasa healed now imepona sasa healed now imepona sasa everybody shout yes mmoja sema ndio somebody shout i receive sema nimepokea my healing uponyaji wangu i receive nimepokea my body healing uponyaji wa mwili wangu amen amen i don't care what it is injarishi ni nini that physical thing 
Hilo jambo la kimwili limekoma. 3 years miaka 3. Tata shoso wacha si mtu mnyang. That mama has, has got her own children. So her mother is ni shoso. Mama yake ni mtu ambaye ni mzee. So it doesn't, doesn't matter your age. Haijarishi umri wako. Number 2 dimension of healing. Kiwango cha pili ama aina ya pili ya uponyaji. What we call? Nile tunaita emotional healing. Uponyaji wa kihisia. Or psychological healing. Ama uponyaji wa kiakili. You can also call it mental healing. Pia unaweza uita uponyaji wa kimawazo. like you see you are like depression mambo ni kama unasumbuka kiakili it's an it's a, it's a sickness ni ugonjwa but christ came to undo that lakini kristo alikuja kushughulikia hiyo many people have no body pains watu wengi hawana uchungu wa mwili but they are suffering from something you cannot see like by a microscope wanateseka na kitu ambacho uwezi ona ukiangalia kwa microscope you just hey you just wake up unaamka tu and you realize unagundua and all is not well ya kwamba mambo hayako sawa is an attack ni shambulizi I remember one time a lady came to my office. Nakumbuka mstana mmoja akaja kwa ofisi yangu akiwa anasumbuka. Amesumbuka amefika mawazo. Tukaomba. Instantly. Mara tatu. Nimesikia nimekuwa rais. Akaanza kusema nasikia uzito umeenda. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you bwana Ken. Nimesikia uzito umeenda. Nasikia uzito umeenda. It was a sickness. Ulikuwa ni ugonjwa. Many people watu wengi are emotionally sick. Wana ugonjwa wa kihisia. You went through a trying moment. Ulipitia wakati wa changamoto. Relationship. Uhusiano. A family breakup. Shida ya kuvunjika wa familia. Something precious you lost. Kitu ambacho ulipoteza cha dhamana. And the sins it then. Na kutoka wakati you are not the same. You never the same. Hauko vile tena. Jesus said in Matthew 4 18. The Spirit of God has anointed me to heal the broken hearted. He was talking of spiritual, he was talking of, a, of this emotional pressure. I decree the name of the Lord. Anything troubling your body, troubling your mind. Sumbua mawazo yako. Troubling you are here. Kinasumbua hizia zako. Troubling your emotions. Kinasumbua hizia zako. Anything troubling. Chochote kinasumbua. Your mind. Mawazo yako. In the name of the Lord. Jina la Yesu. As I'm talking right now. Kuzungumza sasa. The hand of God. Kono wa Mungu. Is touching people here. Kuzungumza watu hapa. You are leaving the service here. Kuzungumza kai bana hii umepona. You are leaving the eye with your believers. You are leaving the service here. Kuzungumza kai bana hii umepona. You are leaving the service Somebody lay your hand over your head and say any torture over my head, over my mind, over my emotions comes to an head now. Comes to an head now. La kapara gadoba, le teshi kapraduzia, le liya le liya le liya le liya. Something is happening right now. There are people that are enjoying healing now. Kapa la bagada baragadosa. Le shika paradosa pradia. Le kembradosa barama. Healing is flowing. Healing is flowing. Healing is flowing. Healing is flowing now. Le prashata la baba. Le prashe kebradia rarama. He kaba baba shila baba. Sabar el shoryes. I'm just remembering days. You see, just to give an example of what I'm talking about. There is a son here. He has been go he has, he is he did so well in university, but the other day. Kuna kijana hapa alifanya vizuri katika chuo kikuu na siku nyingine. He realized he is under an attack. Akagundua ni shambulizi. He lost 
passion for reading completely. Akapoteza hamu ya kusoma kabisa. Yaani asiki kufanya anything. Ukianza kusense hivyo ujue you are under attack. Ukisikia usiki awisi kufanya chochote njua ni shambulizi. Unasikia tu kushinda umelala. And you've been so hard working. So Umekuwa mwenye bindi sana kisha ghafla unaanza kusikia usiki kufanya uh, chochote. All of a sudden ghafla tu. You feel like yani you don't want to do anything. Usiki kufanya chochote. Feel like just to stay tu kwa nyumba. Unasikia kukaa kwa nyumba. Unajua rent na kuongoja lakini you are yani let me tell you it's an attack. Ni shambulizi. And many people na watu wengi hapo ndio wana roh. So the young man yule kijana came we prayed. Akaja tukaomba. The power of God touched him. Nguvu za Mungu zikamwenda. Instantly. Ghafla tu. He said something has just left. Akasema kitu kimeondoka. And from that day na kutoka ile siku. The boy the young man is feeling so rejuvenated. Yule kijana anasikia amechangamka sana. Oh. How many have ever felt feel something of the kind? Wangapi wanashawahi sikia namna hiyo? Kumbe wateja wamejaa. Yaani una feel maybe hata mimi kama that you need to pray for of the past. Ndio maana mnahitaji kuombea hata mchungaji. Unahisi tu kutofanya chochote. Sikia Karanja want to see you and that time you you are, you are not feel even like praying like it's an attack. Unasikia fulani anataka kukuona hata usiki kuomba. Shambulizi. Power of man. Amen. Yeah, I love your openness. Make sure your heaven is open. Listen, have a seat. Listen. Skiza. That inakuanga na attack. Huwa ni shambulizi. And many people hands are becoming poor. Na watu wengi ufanyika maskini chini ya ilo shambulizi. Without knowing. Bila kujua. You lose that passion. Unapoteza hiyo hamu. No passion ya kusoma. Au na hamu ya kusoma. You are a student. Wewe ni mwanafunzi. You've been doing so well. Umekuwa unafanya vizuri. Sasa you have lost. Ghafla tu umepoteza ile hamu ya kusoma. It's an emotional sickness. Ni ugojo wa kihisia. I see healing all over. Naona uponyaji kila mahali. I see people being healed here. Naona watu wakipona mahali hapo. Doesn't matter what it is. Haijarishi ni nini. My dear Jesus get hand for that. Mpendwa Yesu alishughulikia jambo hilo. Get hand for that. Yesu alishughulikia jambo hilo. Ukianza ku feel it like ile motisha ya kufanya kazi, kuomba, kusoma, kuenda job, you are imeisha. No na feel kabisa something is wrong. Ujue. It's an attack. It's an attack. Nishambulizi. It's an attack. Shambulizi. But Jesus Christ. Lakini Yesu Kristo is gonna handle that. Atalishughulikia. Leave that you the say Lord. Ndio mkono wako sema Bwana. Any emotional attack. Kila shambulizi la kiisi. Over my life. Juu ya maisha yangu. Over my spirit. Juu ya roho yangu. Over my mind. Juu ya mawazo yangu. Leo. It ends now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout yes. Yes. In families. Your man at your family. Yeah. You can also begin feeling like that as a husband. Unaweza anza kuhisi namna hiyo kama mume. Or as a wife. Ama kama mke. You love each other all of a sudden. Mlikuwa mnapendana ghafla tu. Unaona mwenzako unaona kama muti tu memea kwa nyumba tu. The other day. No feelings. Hauna hisia ya mwenzako. No feelings. Hauna hisia kwa mwenzako. Ambia mwenzako ukianza kusikia hivyo. Kimbia kwa maombi. Nene setana nakuja na kuambia unakumbuka ile siku alikuproposea you are sick so you didn't make right choice no ulikuwa <laughs> soba <laughs> on that day you are sick so you did make sound decision it's an attack ni shambulizi attack shambulizi it's an attack shambulizi Let me tell you these are some of things that are killing people Ayah, slowly kwa mbaya anaua watu na kuamaliza pole pole you can't tell what it is awezi sema ni nini but all of a sudden it's lakini like, ghafla tu nothing hakuna hoi pasi simufir <laughs> simuisi it's an attack ni shambulizi malaba kada kada ba fashola kada ba the whole of your love is being refreshed mafuta 
ya maisha yako yanafanywa mapya there is an anointing of refreshing ah kuna mafuta ya telling the truth i feel it i can sense it in my spirit there is an anointing of refreshing kuna mafuta ya upya somebody shout refreshment refreshment the bible says my horn o oh lord pembe yangu wewe bwana you have exalted meinua like that one of a wild ox kama ya nyati hey and my head na kichwa changu you have anointed me with fresh oil nitia mafuta mapya right now i prophesy sasa natabiri let there be freshness acha kuwe na upya let there be freshness acha kuwe na upya i wish you are getting what i'm saying natamani unapata na joseph that, that word may seem so simple ile neno inaanza kali but it can't what you need lakini kinabeba kinaika i need anointing for freshness mafuta ya upya the bible says in the book of hearts kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 3 verse 19 sura ya 3 mstari wa 19 the bible says repent therefore tubuni and be converted na mbadilishwe that your sins may be blotted out ili dhambi zenu ziondolewe so that ili times of refreshing wakati wa kufanywa upya come from the presence uh, of the lord uh, 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 hey, where are the times of refreshing coming from wakati wa kufanya upya unatoka wapi the presence of the lord kutoka uweponi mwa bwana so that ili times of refreshing wakati wa kufanywa upya may come utoke everybody shout it times sema wakati of refreshing wa kufanywa upya may come utoke from the presence kwa u of the lord kila mmoja sema times time of refreshing wakati wa kufanya upya may come utoke from the presence kutoka kwa of the lord wa bwana i prophesy refreshing now i wish this church is getting it i wish you are getting it Sabre shot I'm getting it. Napata. Sabre shot in Napata. Sabre say rejuvenation. Sabre say revitalizing. Revitalizing. Sabre shot refreshing. Refreshing. Everybody lay your heart. Wake up over your chest. And they say refreshment. Sema kuburudisha. Refreshment. Kuburudisha. Refreshment. Kuburudisha. Ulikuja kwa ibando kwa umevunjika moyo. Ukiaba unekangete ngoro. Refreshment. Kuburudisha. Kujo kiwa down Natilia nema Yari, I wish everybody is catching Hallelujah Huni kujo kiwa chini Kuna nema ya refreshment Wherever you are tuning from I prophesy Refreshment Refreshment Every family here Refreshment Every relationship Refreshment Every family refreshment wave your hands and say i am refreshed funga mkono useme nimeburudishwa haleluya somebody say i'm feeling refreshed nasikia nimeburudishwa that what prayer does ivo ndivyo maombi ufanye that satani wa kufunga kanisa hiyo ni hatari I see people come. Naona watu wakiwa so down. Wakiwa chini so sana. Frustrated. Wakiwa mekatizwa tafadhali. Wakiwa na uzito mwingi. Lakini baada baada ya maombi na neno. Somebody say I'm feeling relieved. Unasikia mtu anasema nasikia nimeraisika. Kalaba kataba kataba kataba. Let me tell you. Atari Genuine pangu. refreshment. You see? There is a Kuna kuburundishwa kwa akili mwenu. Wewe unapata una stress, unaenda unakunywa pombe. <laughs> they are feel good useless the man has <laughs> easy be sold bizuri lakini uko wakati wote genuine refreshment kuburundishwa kwa kweli it comes from utoka presence kwa uwepo wa bwana you look like sisters pure refreshment kuburundishwa kwa kweli product of the holy spirit ni matokeo ya roho mtakatifu ndio mungu anasema na mtubu tubu please ongea ki 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 mwadhania kauga ando merire yes ando merire amen 
and they be converted na makutweke converted na magarurue that your sins may be blotted out nego maybe amenyu madhegutwe so that nego times wakati of refreshing wakuburundishwa may come uje from the presence kutoka kwa uwepo of the lord wa bwana amen Genuine church kanisa la kweli should be a refreshing center linafaa kuwa ni mahali pa kuburundishwa you should not come gloomy frustrated down beaten up and you go back the same haifai kuja kanisani umepigika uko chini kisha urundi vile no hapana church kanisa should be a place ni mahali where people enjoy refreshment mahali watu wanafurahia kuburudishwa beaten down by issues outside there watu wamepigika na mambo kule nje hopelessness hawana kazi financial straining kifedha wanangangana sababu said refreshing <laughs> kuburudishwa number three. jambo la tatu another dimension of healing kiwango kingine cha uponyaji spiritual healing ni uponyaji wa kiroho spiritual healing uponyaji wa kiroho i pray that this will be realized too naomba ya kwamba ikagunduliwe kwako now sasa spiritual healing when we talk of being cured of being sick spiritually wakati tunazungumzia juu ya kuwa mgonjwa kiroho it's like when you are a sinner spiritually you are a sick ni kama kwa mfano wakati we ni mwenye dhambi kiroho we ni mgonjwa yeah, you are a sick spiritually we ni mgonjwa kiroho when you are backslidden you are born again and now you are backslidden wakati ulikuwa umeokoka kisha sasa umerundi nyuma god caused that spiritual sickness mungu anaita huo ugonjwa wa kiroho osea chapter 14 verse 4 mstari wa 4 the bible says the following biblia inasema yafuatayo i will heal their backslide nitaponya kurudi nyuma kwao i will allow them freely nitawapenda bure for my hunger has turned away from him kwa sababu asira yangu imegeuka kutoka na wao when god want to get people off backsliding wakati mungu anataka kuzuia watu kurudi nyuma he, the, the word used there is healing jina ambalo limetumika pale ni uponyaji there are so many people in church kuna watu wengi sana kanisani you are in church yes uko kanisani ndio but your heart is bleeding lakini moyo wako unaugua your heart is full of grudge moyo wako umezaa kutosamehe your heart is full of pain moyo wako umezaa uchungu you are cursing borrowed you money never paid back shangazi yako alikuomba pesa akurundisha and because of that you are so down na kwa sababu ya hivyo uko chini sana your heart is so down moyo wako uko chini sana you are carrying that anger and bitterness unabeba ile hasira na kukasirika you need divine healing unahitaji uponyaji wa kiroho you need divine healing unahitaji uponyaji wa kiroho you need spiritual healing unahitaji uponyaji wa kiroho jesus talked of how heal the broken heart yesu alizungumzia juu ya kuponya waliofunjika mioyo sinners needs to be healed watenda dhambi wanahitaji kuponywa out their lives well amended for christ na maisha yao yatengenezwe vyema kwa If you are in this service kama uko katika ibada hii you are living a life of sin na unaishi maisha ya dhambi Christ has made your healing available Yesu Kristo ameleta uponyaji wako Receive your healing now Upokee uponyaji wako That is why he says Ndio maana alisema Come to me Joni kwangu You that are heavenly landed Nyinyi mliobeba mizigo mizito And I will give you rest Nitawapumzisha I will heal you Nitawaponya I will rest to your normalcy tarendesha ukawaida wewe but in this service kila mmoja katika ibanda hii that your spirit is not good yote ambayo moyo wako hauko sawa you are living a life that is your everyday guilt of unaishi maisha ambayo kila siku unahukumika juu yake you are guilt of your behavior unahukumika kwa sababu ya tabia zako you are guilt of your conduct unahukumika kwa sababu ya mienendo yako you are guilt of what you are doing unahukumika kwa kile unachokifanya you know what you are doing is not right unajua unachokifanya kisahihi you know you are you are not at peace unajua una amani 
when you are doing your joy ukifanya unafurahia but after you are regretting Christ want to heal you Yesu Kristo anataka kukupoa Pick you in the name of Jesus Bona kwa jina la Yesu Pick you in the name of Jesus Bona kwa jina la Yesu Pick you in the name of Jesus Bona kwa jina la Yesu Let there be spirit of healing Hata kuwe na uponyaji wa kiroho That is why at asonas Yo maana matendo ya mitume tumetuonyesha Chapter 3 verse 19 Sura ya 3 mstari wa 19 Repent Subudi and be converted repent subudi the word repent means change your mind sina kutubu linamaanisha kubadilisha mawazo yako you are going this way ulikuwa unaenda njia hii repent kutubu that means do a u turn linamaanisha ageuka change your mind badilisha mawazo yako and be converted na ubadilishwe and when you have done that na ukifanya hivyo healing for refreshment uponyaji na kubadilisha I'm upon you. Are you there my dear? Christ loves you. Christ wana kupenda. Shepherd is sure. Yeah. Number 4. Yaine. Another dimension of healing. Namna nyingine ya uponyaji. Another dimension of healing. Namna nyingine ya uponyaji. Bakala bakala babu shara bakada bayala. It's what I call. Nile naita land healing. Uponyaji wa mashamba. Oh yeah land okay okay yeah. or oh, you can put into bracket your area of operation ama uponyaji wa eneo lako la utendakazi yes oh thank you jesus somebody say sema healing uponyaji of my operation ground wa area yangu ya kutendea kazi you can you can be so powerful unaweza kuwa mtu mkuu sana but be operating in a sick land lakini wewe unafanyia kazi katika ardhi ambayo ni gonjwa how many feel someday when you see for example over the news wangapi uhisi kitu wakati unaona katika taarifa katika television people tibesheni. killing each other because of you see clan you call them wa askari wako hapa skamishes how do you call them crashes <laughs> all right yeah kama zingine meona sio eloaka you see it's report yeah, you wonder you what you see the land is sick ile nchi ni gonjwa you wake up they have touched your house unaamka unapata wamechoma nyumba yako wameua mke wako in the same nation the same kenya taifa hili moja na kenya hii moja tu in that jurisdiction lakini katika hilo eneo a, there is a sickness kuna ugonjwa that's what the bible says ndio maana biblia yasema in the book of second chronicles 7 verse 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 that in katika mambo ya nyakati 7 mstari wa 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 14 when i shut up heaven and there is no rain nikifunga mbingu na kusiwe na mvua command locust and devour the land nilete nzige na wamalize nchi said the pestilence among my people nitumie watu mateso na taabu verse 14 14 if my people who are called by my name kama watu wangu walioitanishwa na jina langu they will humble themselves and pray kama watanyenyekea na kuomba seek my face na watafute uso wangu and turn from their wicked ways na wageuke kutokana na njia zao mbaya then i will hear from heaven kisha nitasikia toka mbinguni i will forgive their sin nitasamehe mbizao where will i heal na kuponya ardhi yao so spiritual healing kwa hivyo uponyaji wa kiroho is more than just body healing ni zaidi ya uponyaji wa mwili tu let me tell you you can be operating in a sick land or a sick family a, a place where there is a sickness unaweza kuwa unafanyia kazi katika ardhi ama mahali ama eneo ambalo ni gonjo ama familia ambayo ina ugonjwa let me tell you lakini acha nikwambie when divine healing locates that wakati uponyaji wa kiungu unapatana na is inevitable Uma, mabadiliko lazima yataonekana i come from a family who say we were sick there was a sickness natoka katika familia ambayo ningesema kulikuwa na ugonjwa see that day my wife reminded me siku nyingine mke wangu akanikumbusha na akasema you mean unamaanisha it is well in the name of jesus christ kwa jina la yesu christ is done thank you Imetele. listen she reminded me and told me akanikumbusha akaniambia hivi you mean unamaanisha you did four weddings this simple yani mulifanya maharusi yamefuatana 
That what happened. There was a sickness in the family. There were delays in marriages. It was an attack in the family. Everybody used to have you visit mom at home. First question, when are you married? What happened? What happened? It was a sickness the family. But something happened to five in the family. Divine healing stepped into the family. To seven there was first wedding. To eight there was second wedding. To nine there was the third wedding. Twenty ten, Pastor Fred cemented. Mwako elfu mbili na kumi mchungaji akaoa. Hallelujah. Amen. I've given that example. Nimepeana huo mfano. To tell you now why did that up? That's we are not born like that. Ati tumeachana na mwaka moja moja moja. No. So there was a spiritual delay. Kulikuwa na kucheleweshwa kwa kiroho. Anybody that is being delayed here. Because of where you are coming from. Let your Lord be healed. As I'm talking right now. Let there be healing. As I'm talking right now. Let there be healing. I minister healing in your family. Healing in your land. Where you come come from, where you are doing business, where you are doing business, where you are married, anything that fights life there, anything that fights good life, in the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost, smokes it away now, ah, let there be healing now, Business where you operate in things will not work against you. Let there be healing. Somebody shall yeah. You see, I've just remembered this. And Naomi took a husband. Naomi mewake. And her two sons. And they left Bethlehem. The land of bread, the house of bread. That is Ruth chapter 1. Ruth suri ya kwanza. And went to the land of Moab. Na kaenda katika nchi ya Moab. It was a sick land. Ilikuwa nchi ambayo ilikuwa na ugonjwa. The Bible says. Na Biblia inasema. When they went there. Walipoenda pale. My brother whatever you have come for, Mungu anayandress right now. Amen. Just kneel down there. I'm praying for you. Listen, when they landed in Moab. Walipofika Moab. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Something happened. Kitu kikateleka. Elimele the wife of Naomi Elimelech. the husband died El, akafa. died akafa. within a short time mfupi. the son the firstborn died akafa. within a short time mfupi. the second born son died akafa. Naomi realized something is not Naomi good here Kuna kitu and the bible kizuri. says she took her two daughters in law actually the two, she, she told them I'm, I'm up to go back but to cut the story short that our Ruth accompanied Naomi she stepped into a sick land that's what they used to say chuka is a grave for pastors actually the first one to hear mimi alikuwa anambia ananiambia usidhubutu kanisa chuka hapa ni kaburi ya wachungaji 2010 september hii kanisa ikiwa na mwezi moja Mwako elfu mbili na kumi niliamua chuka ni kabuli na wachungaji It was not as God scared Because there were so many examples Pastors would come and quit But we began to cry For the healing of chuka We began to traveling in prayer We used to kneel down I kebumbu haikuanga na narami We would kneel down on the floor and lay hands on the dust some of us are enjoying Tamaki today you don't know where chukas come from 
we prayed to God and they told us it is in something is wrong because the first time they list the tarmac for money for this land 2002 it, it was diverted 2007 they list some more money the former count commissioner told us he knew where the money went went to Naivasha we began to and within a short time God the Almighty healed Chuka that's why today Chuka is a place to be and the Mwenzako Kama Ritoroka Chuka Arundi because Chuka is healed and I prophesy right now even your family where you come from healing is flowing and the anointing of the Holy Ghost I minister healing all of us in the name of Jesus everybody wherever you are I declare your Lord is being healed somebody say Lord heal my operation area in the name of Jesus whatever oppression is brought Healed in the name of Jesus. I declare as you lift up your hands. In the body and oppression here. The power of the Holy Ghost. Heals you now. Marriages are being healed. Families are being healed. Relationships are being healed. I see healing now. Somebody say Lord. Heal my Lord. Say Lord. Heal my love. The Bible says the elders of Jericho they told Elisha that the place where we are the place where we are it looks good as my Lord can see that the crowd is barren the Lord is seeker in the book of second kings chapter 2 verse 19 the place where we are it is good but the last it is sick and the bible says Elijah told them show me where the water comes from and the bible says Elijah went to where the water came from and the bible says he poured the salt there and as he was pouring the salt he said let him say there he said as he was pouring the salt he said from today that says the Lord I have filled this water and from it there shall be no mountains or a barrenness what does that mean the land of Jericho appeared so good but inside it was sick I remember 2002 a young lady came to my office and told me pastor we bought a land at Dagani and built a house and the first night to spend in the house a big snake came in between she saw in the dream a big snake in between her and the husband and the husband and she jumped because of fear in the dream she fell down because of the, of the, of the of fear when she woke up on the following day they began some strife out of a very petty and since the, actually this is what she said the quarreling began right 
there they ended up in divorce courts as she was saying that the Holy Spirit told me they built the house on a sick land I pray as I speak over, over you now anywhere you could be standing or wherever you come from and there is a sickness that divorce progress today I list healing now in the name of Jesus Elisha took some soul but Jesus says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verses 13 you are the salt of the heart in other words I don't have to use salt by standing there hearing as they are raisable and I prophesy as I pray for you now and the sickness of your life it is ending right now I wish you are hearing this Nigeria Uponyaji Kwa Kira Shamba Plare umetoka Plare unafanya biyashara Plare umeajiliwa Plare unafanya iyo kazi Nigeria Uponyaji Mabo inabadulika Rakoni imepona Chuka Aleluya I prophesy to you right now wherever you come from whatever fights people there I'll overpower it I overpower it the name of Jesus I prophesy right now healing over, over families marriage I declare peace